Hello scrappers and planet lovers, Tin Man here with another video. So I had several questions from a beginner scrapper asking me about copper. Are there any items that always contain copper? Uh, which ones are becoming more replaced with aluminum windings and other questions like that. The nice thing about copper in the scrappers world, copper is our scrappers gold. It actually has just gone up again. I just looked at the, the prices. Uh, number two copper went up about 30 cents a pound in London, Ontario. Uh, number one copper uh, went up about uh, another 40 cents and Bear Bright is over the $4.15 mark. So it has gone up as well and copper is widely available in a lot of items. However, you do need to check certain items. You cannot assume just because of the color of the wire or the material that it is copper. So that's what I want to address today. I have a number of items here that I want to go through. Uh, some of them are obviously easier to tell than others, but uh, hopefully this is informative for that beginner scrapper and other, any other scrapper who is wondering the same question. So here we go. The first thing I do want to address is some of these items are easy to tell just using a magnet. So something like this looks like copper. However, as you can see, the magnet on there does stick. Copper is non-magnetic, so very easy. This thing is just a decoration. It even has the fake uh, green tarnish look to make it look like copper. So this is just tin. And again, some of these things just like this one looks like copper, a nice pipe you think. But again, put a magnet to it, does sticks. The other nice thing about that to identify stuff is using a file, okay? If I was to scratch this, you can see underneath it is metallic color. And again, if I put a magnet to it and it sticks, that means that it is going to be the same as tin or it could be steel, depending on the width or the thickness of the metal. If it was steel, it has to be uh, thicker than a quarter inch. This is not thicker than that. So this is gonna be tin going right now for six to seven cents a pound in London, Ontario. Okay, but again, don't be fooled just by the color of it. Okay, all of these other items, you do see a mix. I'm gonna show this one now. So again, comparison, same type of color. Okay, this one is actually a mix. As you can see, if I put a magnet to the legs, it does stick, it sticks to the handle. But if I was to scratch this pot, which I already have, you can see right there, that is copper. Scratching this, you can see that is copper as well. And you do want to make sure that you don't just brush the top surface. You do want to put a little bit of um, effort into scratching that because some of the items do have a small coating of copper overlaid on things, especially your decorative plates and other decorative objects. So something like this, Unfortunately, I have seen people bring this kind of stuff into a scrapyard because it has steel on this. They are going to get downgraded tremendously. So you definitely want to make sure that you take this out. All I'm going to do is actually just cut the rivets here, pull this handle out underneath here as well. Um, I'm going to take that steel off and this is going to give me a uh, number two, or sorry, number one price, maybe number two. Um, if I looked at it, because there is a lot of tarnish, I can just quickly buffer that. So I am gonna do that. You do also wanna make sure in the lip part of these, I have seen a lot of decorative brass plates and things like that that people have on their wall. They will have a small um, ring of uh, metal to keep it strong. This does not have that. So this is gonna be copper. So this is actually gonna give me number one price. So $3.85 a pound for this. Uh, which, no, I'm sorry, that's number two price, which is gonna give me about $4 for this right now, a pound, uh, which is good. And this is heavy. I know I'm gonna lose significant weight from the end here, uh, but the perfect timing of this, this is a great cauldron I can actually use for a decoration right now for Halloween. Uh, afterwards, we'll see. Obviously, someone did throw it out because of this large crack in that. But again, decorative items like this. I do have other items um, whereby I... Um, especially uh, vases and urns. You definitely want to scratch those as well. 
Um, or look on the bottom. This does not, that pot did not say copper on the bottom, but some of your pictures, uh, and I just did a video on it, it did say copper underneath, so that is definitely a good indication, but you still want to scratch it to see if it is just a light coating or if it is, um, you know, pure, pure copper, okay? So those are some definitely interesting things. One item I will talk about is your little aluminum uh, copper radiators. This is a small one. This actually just came out of a um, ice maker. So a small one here. Definitely has some really nice number two copper on here. I do remove this and put it into number two copper. Uh, I will put the rest of this into my aluminum copper radiators. They are going for about $2 a pound right now. Obviously your air conditioner ones are larger than this. Um, I do have to remove the fan off of here. There is a small motor in here that it has a little bit of copper. You can kind of see it if I turn this. There it is right there in the light, just on the corner there. Okay, so those are copper as well. And I will actually put them into a bag, just like these other small copper bearing motors. These all do contain copper, okay? So obviously not a lot here, but it adds up, okay? Your little fans off of circuit boards, different ones like that. You definitely want to scratch them just to make sure, but they are copper, um, okay? But uh, these aluminum copper radiators, definitely the outside. Scratch it again, if I scratched it, you can see it does reveal the copper. And this is gonna be number two because it has the soldering, because it has the liquid inside of it. Which brings me also to the hoses from it. The nice thing about this hose, or the interesting thing about this hose, is this is all copper. You can see it does have soldering, so this is number two. But the nice thing about your ice makers is inside of it, it does have different prongs like this. As you can see, it has a metallic coating on it, as well as this pipe here. And the first thing that you do want to do with any type of copper pipes, especially the ones that go to your copper aluminum radiators, is some of them will have a steel or magnetic tube that goes with it. So the first thing to eliminate any of that is just to put a magnet down it. You can see it is non-magnetic. So all of this could be copper. If I scratch it, which I'm gonna do right here, I'll scratch this one. You can see inside of that, there it is, there's the copper. So this is just a coating on it, but this is gonna also give me number two copper, any type of copper that is coated, painted, soldering, glue, tape, that is number two. So again, 380 for this, and this is a really nice chunk. Okay, you do wanna make sure you check all of it. Sometimes they will have a small stainless steel connection to it. Uh, so gonna check that. And that is actually, interesting, that is brass, this little connector here, okay? So I do need to make sure, and all I'm gonna do is actually just cut that off. I'll put this into my brass, okay? The rest of this is gonna be copper. So interesting, if I can check the light, look at the gold difference right here on this thing. Hopefully, I will make it a little bit easier to see. Okay, unfortunately, the light, it's hard to see on these, but just gonna do it. So there you go. There is the gold look, I'm trying to get there. That part I just scratched. So that is actually brass and that is copper. So you do wanna separate it. Uh, the rule with copper is, uh, and brass, you know, uh, someone else asked another question about how much brass can I have on it. Copper can't have brass, but brass can have copper. So any type of copper that has brass on it, like this, is gonna actually give you brass price. So it's about $2.80 a pound right now, so a dollar less. So you definitely wanna make sure you take that off to get the max profit, okay? As well as any of these tubes, I have actually done a video on these dryers. I cannot just bring this in as is, you can hear it. If I shake it, it's got some beads in there. I do have a video showing you how to open that and remove those as well as the filter in there. There's sometimes a stainless steel filter or a metal one uh, that is magnetic. So I cannot just bring this in as is, I will be penalized. And again, I will um, put the link to that video under my description to check that out. But again, this whole wire here, nice number two. I do need to take the plastic off, but it does connect to 
this, and if I scratch it, it is also copper. So definitely do the magnet uh, test. Uh, compressors, this compressor actually came out of there. This is obviously smaller than the, the ones that come out of big air conditioners and things. The motors inside of compressors are always copper winding. Um, I had some viewer actually comment the reason that is is because if it was aluminum, then uh, it would overheat. I'm not sure on that. That is uh, something he said, but I have probably taken apart a hundred compressors. Every one of them continues to be copper regardless of the size of it. So these are an excellent item. Always have copper in them. Uh, if I was to bring this in as is, I'm going to get uh, 15 cents a pound. And this is heavy, but that copper motor, something like this, a nice chunk of copper there, definitely worth my number two copper. And the reason this is number two copper is not only because it has oil on it, the other thing we look at with copper wire is in order for it to be classified as number one, it has to be thicker than 16 gauge, which is the thickness of the lead of a pencil. So this is a motor. These come out of, as you can see there, beautiful copper. Some of them come out of washers, dryers. This one came out of a compressor. Um, so compressors are always gonna be copper. Okay, transformers, the old style of microwaves, um, I will say, Definitely more chance of copper, but transformers are one of those ones that can be aluminum. So here you have, these are your transformers that come out of microwaves, um, bigger ones. They always have two strands of wire and you definitely want to scratch these. Um, I can bring a transformer in as is and get transformer weight price, which is about 15 cents a pound. These are about 15, 10 to 15 pounds, uh, depending. This one's probably 10 pounds. And the nice thing about transformers is they are 100% scrappable. Once I remove the copper, if there is copper in here, the rest of this is going to go into my tin. Um, but before I open it, I definitely do not want to assume that it's copper because it looks like copper. I do want to scratch. This one you can see is copper. This one you can see is also copper so that's excellent I got two spools of number two copper there this one here you can see if I scratch it that is a metallic color so that is actually aluminum this one inside I have already scratched it that is copper so I am definitely going to open that to get out that one copper spool very easy to do I will also include in my description the link to that how to do it but some of them especially the newer ones um, you cannot tell just by looking at the microwave. I've had even some newer microwaves that have one, at least one copper spool in there. So those microwaves are definitely something that you do have to check. Um, you definitely want to look at it and definitely take them because even if it was not, um, copper, they are still worth something at a scrapyard for sure. Uh, but your little transformers that you have, the tiny ones that you will get off of circuit boards, those will be, and I'm trying to think, the doors off of them. So something like this. These come off of the doors of the microwaves. These do have another transformer, and these are always copper uh, inside of them. So definitely another good thing to get. Um, so even if the big transformer is aluminum winding, the smaller one is going to be copper. Okay. Um, staying with microwaves, these are your different fans uh, that come out of there, and up until about two weeks ago, I believe that all of them were copper, um, beautiful looking strands there. They look like bare bright. If I was to cut this or uh, scratch this one, you can see beautiful bare bright copper there. Smaller one here, beautiful copper look. Scratch it, you can see the copper, okay? However, here is one that I scratched, and as you can see inside of that, that is the metallic look. So these are now um, getting replaced with aluminum windings, so be careful of those. Um, and I will say one difference, and this is probably not always true, but I have found that the aluminum ones are a lot lighter than the copper ones. So that is something that is a good beginning to, but you definitely want to do the scratch test, okay? Because as I said, aluminum windings, definitely cheaper than copper. 
And even though it looks like a beautiful bare bright, it's just a coating over this aluminum. Something like this, because I already took it off, I can just throw this into my aluminum bin. Um, so it's better than nothing for sure. But don't be fooled. You know, if a scrapyard would have seen this inside of all my number two copper, they're gonna downgrade me. So be careful on that. So these are your little motors that come out of the microwaves as well. They do have, even though there is aluminum, there is a small bit of copper there that I do take off. Okay, um, circuit boards, your little circuit boards have little donuts like this, different colors. Okay, again, these ones uh, you will wanna scratch. I have seen some that are aluminum. This one, beautiful, you can see it does have copper, okay? So it uh, has a reddish tinge to it. So this is all gonna be number two copper because of the coating on it. Uh, probably gonna have a little glue once I open it up. So circuit boards have all little types of donuts on it. You can see here is a couple, another circuit board that has it. Okay, if I scratch it again, there's some copper. Okay, and circuit boards also have these beautiful fingers on them. Right here you can see I have another video that I've talked about. These, these prongs are all copper inside. These attach to your aluminum heat sinks. Um, some of them are a lot obvious. They will be right at the top. You'll see the copper. Some of them actually have a plastic coating on them, but these continue to be copper. So you definitely want to get these. It's all number two copper. You don't have to take off the plastic. Uh, that's what's great about number two copper is it will give you plastic on there. It will give you number two copper price. So some great prongs there. This is uh, almost nine pounds worth of prongs. So as you can see, I've been busy with circuit boards for sure. Um, and you know, given a, a circuit board like this, you can see right there alone, there is four of them right on the bottom there. This one's gonna have two, that one has one, that one has two on this one too. So very common item on your circuit boards, but it is a great thing of number two. My magnetrons from microwaves, always the inner core, this is your inner core, does still contain copper. These inner cores here are still copper. I do have a video again on these, how to open these and show you how to safely do it. But look at that nice copper inside of that. Okay, so a nice thing of copper on these magnetrons. The circuit boards do have sometimes uh, aluminum heat sinks that have a really nice thing of copper, a beautiful copper ingot in there. Again, you do wanna scratch these but very easy to do. Look at these beautiful copper ingots, okay? If I scratch them, there you can see beautiful copper. And this actually weighs eight ounces. This one weighs about six. Look at the size of that. It almost looks like a mini bullet if, or an artillery shell, if you will. <laughs> but uh, obviously it's copper, not brass. But some beautiful copper there. And you still will find these. The nice thing about these is once I remove the copper, this is gonna give me extrusion, which is a form of aluminum. Um, and this is actually, the aluminum part of these are actually going for $1.20 a pound right now. But you definitely wanna get out the copper. Something like this one, a lot different. This one has the copper from both sides. This one, you can see it's almost like a small little um, uh, coin. All I do with this one, I will just actually use a grinder, grind down one side, then this side and then actually I can just pop it out. So definitely some copper on there that you want to get. So number two copper. So aluminum heat sinks as well. If you see the copper part ingot to it, it is going to be copper as well. Here's another style of your heat sinks. This one too has a nice coin of copper there as well as these prongs. If I'm scratching these, you can see right there, it is copper, okay? So nice thing about aluminum heat sinks is they are still gonna be copper. This is not gonna be an aluminum um, covering over it. Okay, so heat sinks, another one. Um, wire, I wanted to get to wire. Uh, I have a couple types of wire here. This wire is from actually from a uh, electronic and sometimes you will see the clear coating. Sometimes you will see two really nice visible copper wires. This one you can see has a visible copper wire to it, but this one looks like it is metallic. I have seen some wire aluminum, so you definitely want to do the scratch test. If I scratch this, you can see it is right there copper. So it just has a coating on it. 
And this right here is gonna give me 60% appliance weight price, which is currently going for $2.15 a pound. Uh, there is a difference between this and something like this. If I was to bring this wire in, this is gonna give me my 40% appliance wire. And that's because it has three individual strands as of, Cody, of wire as well as coating and an outer coating. Scrappers will look at, scrap yards will look at plastic to copper ratio and copper recovery. Because there is an outer coating, there is more plastic, less copper. So this at 40% appliance wire is giving me $1.20 a pound. This again, don't be confused. You can see the metallic look on this wire as well. Don't believe that it is aluminum or copper until you do the scratch test. You can see right there, it is copper, okay? So if I was to throw this into my aluminum wire, you're gonna lose a tremendous amount of profit. This is very heavy. And I will go ahead and put this into my stripper and remove the outer coating, as well as these individual ones because I'm gonna get number two copper price for this. Some of your wire is not worth stripping. Um, uh, extension cords, in my opinion, are not worth it. But something, given the thickness of this wire, is worth it going to number two price. So I will also have a, a link to a video of that. I've done an experiment on different appliance wire or different wire, which ones are worth stripping, which ones aren't. So again, if that is something you're looking at, you can check that out uh, as well in the description. But again, don't believe just because it is metallic color, it's going to be aluminum. You definitely wanna check, okay? And sometimes it will say on here, um, this one does not say, Copper, it just gives, well, I, I don't know how to read this actually, but it does say how thick it is. Um, it does say 10 AWG, so that would be 10 gauge. Um, so definitely this is still gonna be, once I strip it, number two, because the rule is in order to be number one and higher, it has to be 16 gauge and thicker. So some beautiful wire here. Another one that I wanted to do was your CRTVs. So CRTVs, these are always gonna have on these the beautiful copper bell. This is gonna be number two copper, but the degaussing tape or cable, if you will, these are what can throw people. Uh, unfortunately, some people like my dad, um, shout out to him for all he's done, but he still does not find these. I find them on all the uh, CRTVs, the outer um, uh, glass part. Uh, very easy to recognize. It looks they're always covered in like a black tape. These ones can be copper and some of them can be aluminum. So the only way that you can really check is if you cut it open, you can see inside those strands are copper. If you were to cut this open and it reveals a metallic look inside, it's gonna be aluminum. In my opinion, most of the ones I found have been uh, copper, but again, do not just assume. Uh, it doesn't matter um, the style. I've seen the same brand sometimes that are copper, some are aluminum. Um, same year. So again, I think it just depends on where it was made, um, you know, who made it, and I think availability of resources. So um, that is definitely copper. But degaussing cable as well, some of it is copper, some of it is not. And the last thing I want to look at is your motors that come out of things like vacuum cleaners. Uh, this is a type of motor that you can see this came out of a vacuum cleaner. And I have a lot of people that uh, just don't even uh, get motors from the vacuum cleaners anymore. They just get the uh, plugs. And that's because they believe that the motors are aluminum now. Some of them are, some of them aren't. But the guarantee is the inner armature like this is always going to have copper. And I have just done a video on showing you how to easily take that copper out. It doesn't look like a lot but I have about 40 armatures over there right now. Some of them are differently bigger, some are smaller, but this is a good thing of copper that is gonna come in all of them, regardless of the style of vacuum cleaner. Um, and again, some of them are obviously bigger depending on what they come out of. Uh, they don't just come out of your vacuum cleaners, but copper motors um, like this, that come in this style, okay, may not have copper on the windings, but definitely inside of here. Okay, but this one, just checking it, this is a vacuum cleaner I just took apart. You can see there is my copper, okay? This one, unfortunately, I've scratched it. That is aluminum, so something like this, I'm still just gonna throw this right into my uh, tin pile uh, because I still get money for it, okay? So that's something I don't understand with some scrappers. 
Anything is better than nothing. Yes, vacuum cleaners do have a lot of plastic on them, but you can still get the tin from this. Um, I guess I can also mention your barbecues, the regulators. There is a beautiful chunk of brass in here, but I have seen some of your hose connectors. So if I look at just the crimp part here, uh, interesting, this one, put a magnet to it. It is magnetic, it is metallic. This one, okay, a barbecue as well. You can see that I scratched it. Look at that. That has a nice connector, whatever that is, uh, connection. That is copper. So I'm just going to just open that up. Once I remove this brass, I'll take this. This will be another piece of number one or number two copper. Uh, probably number one because it doesn't have soldering or anything on it. So again, sometimes you will find even your barbecue hose connectors or any other type of connectors like this that have some copper on them as well. You do want to scratch it, obviously, but this is another example of there's no guarantee. It was just an interesting thing, okay? Um, and, oh, there's my circuit board that I wanted to talk about. So there you go right there. Again, there are some nice spools of copper. That is number two copper. There is my prongs, you can see, that came off of this. So again, number two copper there. Okay, anything else? Um, again, your appliance wire, do you want to check them? These are your little motors that come out of your dishwashers and washing machines. There is a little bit of copper in here, uh, easy to take out, as well as sometimes on your, um, this is actually out of a dishwasher, you can see some of the prongs. Sometimes they're brass, but sometimes, as you can see, I scratched it, some of them are copper, okay? But uh, they're either gonna be copper or brass, definitely gonna be something you wanna take, but don't always assume they're gonna be brass. So hopefully that helped. Um, copper wire, again, it comes in all different colors. Um, you can see this one actually has a small reddish tinge. This one has a little bit of uh, tarnish on them. You can see a little bit of green. Here is some bare bright, so this is gonna be your highest category of uh, copper wire. But the scratch test on wire is definitely gonna be the best test to do. Um, hopefully that answered some questions there. A lot of examples, a lot of items, but magnet test for sure. First thing to do, scratch test, definitely. And a lot of items now can't assume, but compressors, again, always gonna be uh, copper. Your armatures are always gonna be copper. Your inner core of your magnetrons are always gonna be copper. Um, and the other stuff, like I said, you're gonna have to do a little bit of testing. So hopefully that answered those questions. Please comment down below, continue to ask away. I will do what I can to help. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one. Tin Man out.